Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to be going over how to make a kill brick in your guys' games. So basically a part that the player steps on and they die. Um, so you guys can use this for like obbies or whatever type of game you're making that you want the player to touch a brick and they die. So the first things we need to do is obviously insert a part. So we're going to go ahead and insert a part into workspace. I have the color on red already, but uh, you guys can make it whatever color you want. We will just make this a little bit bigger and we will make the material neon just like that. So now we can name this, I don't know, kill part and we can insert a normal script and we can name this handler. The first things we're going to define is the actual part. So we'll say local part equals script dot parent. Then we'll say part dot touched colon connect function hit. So basically when something touches the part, it's an event and we're going to connect it to this function and inside the function, there's a parameter called hit and it'll basically define whatever hit the part. So we'll say we need to make sure that it's an actual player that hit the part. So to do this, we'll say local humanoid equals hit dot parent colon find first child, which is a humanoid, basically the part that gets hit its parent, which is the character, has a humanoid inside of it, and that's what we're trying to find. So we'll say if humanoid, then we can just go ahead and set the health to zero. And now if we hit play, you can see that when we touch it, we die just like that. So very simple, but you guys can get kind of creative with what you want to do with this. Let's say, I don't know. You wanted to insert like particles inside of the player, right? We'll duplicate this. I just need to test out the particles and we'll make them red and we'll make the size something like this. So very simple, but I want to insert this inside of the actual um, player when they die. So I just want to do one more thing. All right. All right. So we'll put this inside of replicated storage. We will go ahead and define replicated storage just like this we will then say um, we'll say this for I part in pairs oops pairs hit dot parent colon get children do we'll say if part dot class name equal equals part then or oops or part dot class name equal equals mesh part then we'll say local new particles equals replicate storage dot particle emitter colon clone new particles dot parent equals part so this is for every single body part inside of the character we will insert these particles so now let's go ahead and see if it works and one other thing i just gotta see something You just got to make sure that we're not um, inserting them multiple times. So we'll do that. So we'll check, make sure they don't have any particles inside of them already. And then if they don't, we will insert new ones. And boom, just like that, you could see the particles get inserted into our character. But when we respawn, they're gone. So that is how you make a basic kill brick inside of Roblox Studio. If this was of any help to you, make sure you like, subscribe, share all that good stuff. Um, if you have any friends that are trying to get into Roblox game development, Roblox scripting, building, all that stuff, direct them to this channel. I upload pretty consistently. And uh, yeah, I make new tutorials all the time. So direct them to this channel. And yeah, that's it for today's video. I have a new channel called Monkey Boy 4476 Shorts. So make sure you check that out. 
um it's linked in the channels section of my channel and yep that's it for today's video and as always i will see you guys in the next one